Hello everyone, my name is Elle, welcome. Today I wanna to chat with you guys about my beauty bucket list for 2018. So I got this idea from Hunter, or it's me, Hunter, that's her channel name. She is one of my favorite people on the face of the earth. I just, I adore her to pieces. I will have her channel linked down below and I highly suggest you guys go check her out. She also does project pans and stuff like that. So highly, highly, highly recommend her. I recommend her to everybody and anybody who will listen to me. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk about some of those things that are on my list. Now Hunter's list was more specific. Mine is a little bit more general, but I wanted to share it because I want to keep myself accountable. I really want to practice and improve these things. So this is my intro, as you can see where I am now. And now I have improved quite a bit over the years. I've really put time into improving how I do my makeup, but I have a long, long, long long, long way to go. <laughs> and I know that. So I just want to get better. And maybe this will inspire you guys to think of some beauty bucket list things that you want to try out or improve on next year. So the first thing, my number one thing that I really, really want to get better at is eyebrows. <laughs> I am terrible at eyebrows. I have tried so many different products, so many different techniques. It just does not work for me. So I need to practice more. If you guys have any favorite brow products, any favorite tutorials, any little tips and tricks you can share with me, I'm all, I'm all ears. I also want to practice winged eyeliner. I am really not good at winged eyeliner. Uh, it's been a long journey. I used to do it with a pencil. I now do it with a liquid or, or some sort of gel type product. I've been trying, but because of the way my eyes are, it's not easy. I don't have good face for makeup. I just, you know, I've got my little tiny hooded eyes that just eat makeup instead of display it. So I'm always jealous of you people with lots of lid space and space in general to put makeup on. I wish I had that. So I just want to practice winged eyeliner and figure out what kind of shapes work best for me. And there's different styles of winged eyeliner. So I want to try some things as well and also play with colors like a yellow or an orange or a red. Um, I've done it now and then, but man, it's I'm not good at it. Like I try really hard. So anyway, that's that's my second thing. My third thing is glitter application and precision. So I'm a big glitter junkie. But my problem is once I start with glitter, I just cover my whole face in it. I can't tone it down. I, I want to be more precise and I want to master like loose glitter application and have it stay where I want it to. Like I love cut creases with that little pop of like glitter that's just not the glitter liners from Urban Decay, which I have all of them, I'm obsessed with them. But I want to try some other things, some a, a little bit more variety and things um, that can be a little bit more dramatic. So I really want to try to master the application and the precision and just maybe being a little conservative with glitter. I know that's probably a huge oxymoron, conservative glitter, but I just don't want to like cover it all over my face. Speaking of cut creases, I also really want to keep practicing cut creases. I only did my first one back in like, what, March or something of this year of 2017. So I want to get better. I really want to try some um, like negative space cut creases and those things that look more technical. They don't always look the greatest from a distance. They're usually more for like close up shots of makeup, but I just want to try out some different techniques because I feel like I get stuck in a rut when it comes to eyeshadow shapes. So I want to try some new things. Um, if you guys have any ideas for eye shapes as well, besides cut creases, let me know. I'm always Googling that like eyeshadow shapes, eyeshadow styles. I just want some different ideas for placements and things, but stuff that's still wearable and stuff that would look good in like a video like this because a lot of the times I'm talking, I'm not showing or taking like those cool close-up photos of makeup because that's like another goal of mine that's not directly related to application and skill, just more on like the technical side. I want to improve like my editing and my video stuff and I'd love to be able to take better photos of my makeup, but I, I just feel like that's really difficult, not because I don't have like the equipment to do it, but because I just don't have the face to do it. That really is my fifth thing though, um, eyeshadow shapes and things that flatter my particular eye shape. The problem I have a lot of the time is that I follow tutorials of people who have different eye shapes of my 
mine and I haven't quite gotten exactly to the point where I can modify things easily so sometimes I have too much darkness like in the inner portion of my eye and sometimes things are just uneven and it doesn't flatter my eyes because my eyes aren't even my eyes are differently my eyes are shaped differently so I, I need to figure out what flatters my particular eye shape and issues more and I love playing with eye makeup probably more than anything else so I really want to get better at that um, I also want to try some new techniques when it comes to contouring particularly cream contouring uh, I've watched so many videos now that I really just want to do it. I have I got a sample of an Anastasia cream contour stick just a couple of days ago and I've been using it and I really like it. I really really like the effect of it and it gives my face more of that carved effect which I really like. It just looks a little bit more natural than powder but I can still layer powder on top of it for extra emphasis and also just to set the cream. So I really want to play with some cream contour stuff maybe even some cream highlights and stuff, just to see if I can maybe create a more fluttering effect on my face. I also really wanna practice lipstick application, and I think that's just about taking more time. I tend to just go really fast with lipstick, because lipstick, most of the time, is the last thing that I apply. So by that point, when I've done everything else, I'm just like, okay, let's just scribble this lipstick on really fast. And sometimes that's okay, you can get away with it if it's a really light lipstick, but with darker lipsticks, that's where you get the messiness outside of the lip line and things aren't precise and it's all wavy and I just I want to have a little bit more of a precise application with a variety of different lipsticks not just liquid but bu like bullet style lipsticks and, and everything I just want to practice and get better at applying lipstick and the last thing is mastering some quick but pretty looks so when I do my makeup for filming I take anywhere from like half an hour to like two hours depending on what I'm doing and when I'm getting ready for work I usually have like 20-25 minutes to do my makeup so that's really cutting everything down so I really want to come up with some things that are really pretty um, but don't take a whole lot of time and uh, sometimes I get stuck in a rut so I'll do like the same exact eye shape over and over and over again for example when it comes to eyeliner and I just you know apply my blush and my highlight and my contour the exact same way and I don't really take any chances so I want to have like an arsenal of things I'd love to do five different looks you know so not just doing the same thing every day even if I am panning stuff I feel like there's versatility there that you can apply things and there's different sort of placements so I really just want to have that arsenal of like five quick you know, 25 minutes or less makeup looks. All right, so that is everything for my beauty bucket list of 2018. Let me know if you guys would like to see little updates or check-ins on this and how I'm progressing. Um, it might just come out naturally, but if you really want to see like a dedicated check-in, let me know and what you'd like to see like maybe in six months time. And then once again, like a year from now, I can check in and say like what I learned what I didn't learn, what I got better at, and maybe come up with a new bucket list for 2019. I'd really like to hear what your beauty bucket list is as well, and if you have something more specific, like maybe you just want to try doing a black smoky eye or a dark lipstick, or maybe you're a little bit more broad like me and you just want to get better at winged eyeliner or something, but I'd really love to know. And as I mentioned before, if you have any tips, tricks, ideas, hints, if you can point me in the direction of your favorite tutorials or whatever helped you get better at those things, I would really, really love to hear it. Anyway, thank you so, so much for spending some time with me today. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope I get to talk to you soon. Bye for now.